Hello, today we're going to be reviewing the Ingenious Cloud Managed ECW220 Wireless Access Point. This is a 2x2 antenna array design, and it's going to be in the 1775 class of access points. This has the capability of pushing 574 MIP on the 2.4 GHz band, or 1200 MIP on the 5 GHz band. That's 1700 MIP worth of throughput that these things can handle on both the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz bands. This is a six and a quarter square device that's about an inch and a quarter thick. So it's very low profile, very svelte in size for a Wi-Fi 6 device. Now Wi-Fi 6 is the modern branding for 802.11ax and you'll see on a lot of new devices they have the wi-fi 6 sticker certified on there for any of the devices that have been made since about 2019. some of the benefits of wi-fi ax or wi-fi 6 is OFDMA, that's orthogonal frequency division multiple access which basically means that both the ap and the end clients can group messages together to send in chunks so think of it as a shipping truck being able to deliver a truckload of shipment boxes to addresses as it goes on its route and then collecting those boxes and then sending them back versus sending a mostly empty truck with just a small bit of data. So you'll see that this is primarily good for small packet data that would otherwise leave large chunks of the spatial spectrum empty as it doesn't need to use its full allotted time slot. So this provides a benefit in allowing not just the AP, but the end clients as well to transmit data together rather than waiting for each to take their appropriate turn, as long as they don't have large chunks of data being transmitted. So you'll see that there's less congestion on the network for devices that are sending small chunks of data. And I think that reason alone is enough to upgrade to a Wi-Fi 6 device. This is PoE powered. It has a adapter port, as well as you can buy a injector if you don't have a PoE switch. And this is PoE 802.3 AF, which means it takes about 12.8 watts of power when in use. Since this doesn't come with an adapter or a power injector, you'll have to provide your own power for it. We reviewed the ECS 2512 FP multi-gig poe switch that you can read about on our website i'll put it in the description below so go ahead and check that out when we open up the device you can see the two by two array of antennas each of these connections are glued down so that they don't come loose in shipment on the back side of here is where all the chips are we have behind here the quad core qualcomm ipq 6010 CPU, it's one gigahertz. And then we have the Qualcomm Atheros you know, wireless controller, and that's a QCN 5052 and a 5051 for the uh, 2.4 gigahertz. Those are adhered to the metal base plate with thermal pads with adhesive. And so I didn't pull those off to show you guys, but it's a pretty good spec of equipment that goes into these has a pretty good layout, very solid design. Now on the exterior of the device, we have four LED lights. We have the power, we have a LAN network connection light, and we have a 2.4 and 5 gigahertz light. Now initial setup, you can put this into your environment. It will pull a DHCP address that you can then go to a web interface on it and change the management VLAN for it if your environment is that complex. Otherwise, it'll just pull the DHCP address. You go on to the Ingenious Cloud Management website and you can enter in this serial number and register it to your cloud account. And it will show up as a device that you can then manage and set up the SSID as well as a lot of the finer points. And it's going to be scrolling right here. <laughs> In the cloud management interface, you can set up the usual wireless security protocols such as WPA2, but also you get WPA3 support. 
And not only do you get the pre-shared key that is usually on consumer class devices, but you also get enterprise grade features as well. So WPA3 or WPA2 enterprise, allowing you to do authentication using Ingenius's Cloud Radius server, or you can use the pro licensing to use Google LDAP, your own LDAP server, or even Active Directory, which is pretty cool. With this access point, you get basic cloud management, free, unlimited, which is in stark contrast to competitors in this market space, such as Meraki, where you pay annually. Now, there is a annual fee that you can pay to get pro licensing, which gives you access to some of those benefits, such as the in-house LDAP and Active Directory authentication and other advanced features such as that. And when I checked the website, it says MSRP is $50 a year, which is significantly cheaper than a lot of competitors. So Ingenius is really making a great headway into this space with this offering. Now, this, because it's cloud managed, also is priced at a higher price point than a non-cloud managed device. So if you're looking for home use, it may not be what you would feel is necessary but if you like to manage your access point on the go, or when you're not at home, rotate passwords, or even have the ability to do this cloud radius authentication to ensure people logging onto your network are authenticated users, then this might be something that you would want to look at. Primarily, since this is an enterprise class device, this will be targeted for small business users or even businesses that have a lot of remote locations that they need to centrally manage through a centralized cloud managed environment. Now I went and did some benchmark tests with this. We had a desktop PC with a brand new Intel based wireless six network card. And we had it placed here in this room and put this AP in the room just behind this wall here. So about 10 feet away through a wall and a closet door. When we fired up iPerf 3, we were able to pull 410 MIP on that connection. And then we moved the AP even further away past the family room. So now we're going through three walls and we were able to pull 259 MIP on average. And that's at about 29 feet away. In summary, this is a great little device. It provides Wi-Fi 6 in a very small package compared to a lot of competitors. Since this is a business class access point, it does just that. It provides you access to the on-premise network. It is not a router, so it will not replace a prosumer or consumer class router Wi-Fi device. It provides pretty high speeds, especially if you're in the same room with the device. But as it gets further away, its signal does fall off rather quickly, especially at about the 30 foot mark through a couple of walls. So it still provides the 259 MIP that we tested at that distance, but there might be other Wi-Fi devices that would get a faster speed at that distance with bigger antennas, but they will be more bulky than something like this. With the clips on the back, it will provide very low profile on the ceiling and be a very unnoticeable to employees or customers in your environment. If you have any questions about this device, feel free to leave a comment. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.